So hello, we're here metal detecting once again. Um, so far, first hole, just a rusty old nail, okay? So, stay with us and um, hopefully we'll find something else. So first hole of Doug, well second hole actually, I'll just tell you a lie. It's another one of those buckles. Yeah, right near actually where I found another one. Good. Another one. Got another one of these now. Hmm. So another bullet casing. Nice, yeah. So that's the second one of the day. Um I don't know if you can tell what it is, but yeah, happy. And there's another one. I think we're gonna find a lot of these today. I think Matthew's just finding nails today. <laughs> Over there, but um, I seem to be just finding shell casings. Cool. And there it is. Another one. Yeah. Good. So Matt's got himself a little horseshoe. That's quite nice, actually, isn't it? You clean it up, paint it, put it on your wall. <laughs> Outside, probably not in the house. So this is the hole we actually give up on last time. Um. So we're going to have a look. Now, let's see if we can uh, find it because it's bugging me. I've just been looking for this spot and I'm going to have a go again. So I don't know what this is. Hmm. Yeah. Another one. Hmm. Don't know. So. So let's dig it up and see what it is. So I found this with a parachute thing. We looked this up online. Well, Matt looked it up online, and it said it's an American World War Two. Matt, what is this? A parachute thing? Yeah. Look, it's in the. Wow! Look at that. That's nice. Very nice. Very happy with that. It's nice, isn't it? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the problem we're having. This is Matt's spade and that one's mine. Now mine's a British Army one. Proper British military one. Matt thought, had one. Never used it. But look, China. This is this is why. It's. <laughs> I think it's not very good. That's the problem with the Chinese ones. They're not very well made, are they? They're a bit crap, aren't they? <laughs> There's always a horseshoe. Nice. So I found one bullet casing in this little stream. You found much, Matt? Another buckle. Another buckle. There's actually a dinner plate down here. Let's have a look at it. Nineteen forty-two. In England, 1942. Wow. Hmm. Very nice. So that's another one. Got a few of these now. Hmm. What we want is to find some coins. Yeah. So it's gone a bit dark now. It looks like it's going to rain, doesn't it? Yeah. Just found. Bullet has hit something. Nice. Nice. So I've had a good signal on the garret. Um, it's a bit jumpy, but I think it's another bullet. So let's find out. What on earth is that? Don't know. Don't know, not a clue. Looks like silver. But I don't know. It's very shiny. Don't know. It's got a bit of pattern on it as well. T 
see is 95. No idea. If anyone online can tell me what that is, I'd be very appreciative. It looks old, but it looks silver in fact, but I don't think it is, but I don't I don't really know. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what I found now. What's that? Don't know. Not a clue. Looks like some writing on it. Excuse me. So I just realised I had the camera the wrong way up. <laughs> Don't know, it won't focus in this light. Fair shotgun casing. Hmm. Nice. Got this now. Got a weird end on it. Don't know what that is, do you? Don't look like it's been fired either. I can't tell. Don't know. Never seen one like that before, have you? I don't know. So we've moved to a new spot. Okay. It's on. <laughs> so we've moved to a new spot. Um, I've just found this line down here. Blue glass. Look how pretty it looks in the light. Shame it's broken. Hmm. I say we're struggling now because um, it's all nettled over. So we'll have to come back in winter time, I think, some of this because, um, well, it's just too bad, some of it. So yeah. First iron signal. Um, we haven't had a signal in a little while. It's a bit grown up here, really. We've got to wait until probably later in the year. And oh, a shotgun cartridge. Great. <laughs> it's not really what we're looking for, is it? <laughs> Calling it a day now. Knackered. So I've got some good bits. So I'll show you when we've cleaned them up. And yeah. So this is the roundup for today. I've just given all these a quick clean. So first off, I've got another one of those. It's more buckles. Unfortunately these aren't in very good condition, but still nice. Some bullet casings, all appear to be from the same rifle, or same type of rifle, shall we say. Now this is really cool, I like this. Yeah, a little bullet, a, well, a bullet that's hit something very hard. But I think that's quite smart. Shotgun catch, uh, I can't talk now. Shotgun case shells, just the brass bit on the end. Well, actually, I think some of these aren't really that old. Now, I don't know what this is number 38 something. Looks like it's, I don't, I have no idea. I'll be honest, it looks like something out of a radiator, but I don't know. It's heavy, so if anyone knows what that is, if you could leave me a comment. Just a little washer thing. Nothing written on it, I don't think. No. Piece of pottery. I only picked this up. I don't really collect pottery, but this one, 1942. So it would have been right because this was an RF. Well, technically an American uh, base during World War Two. Two light popper clips. Unfortunately, this one broke when I was cleaning it. Zoom. No idea. This is interesting. Now, I've never seen one before. It's got like um, a little crown on it. It says TS98. TS98 under here. It's got like a little rose sort of picture there. Feels like it's made of pewter, maybe. Hmm. So if anyone knows what that is, uh, let me know, because I, well, it's obviously a buckle of some kind, but um, I'm not very sure what it is. Very nice. Now, my favorite for today, a parachute fastener thing, whatever you call it. Unfortunately, it's a bit eaten there, but we're still very happy with that. Look at that. Very happy with that. Very, very happy. 
because I found some of the um, these bits last time I was there. I'll put, I'll put them on in a moment. But that's my favourite. That is absolutely very nice. Very, 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 very nice. So we were right. All the parts were from a parachute. So we, Matt, I know you're watching this. Uh, good guess because you were right. <laughs> um, I have looked this up online. It says it is World War Two era. Uh, now this base was abandoned, I believe, in 19. 46 or 7 I'm not quite sure now um, but yeah great so this is the full roundup um, all this stuff has came from the same actual area okay um, see as you can see I've got two of the others there so I did actually have a look and I imagine there must be one more there but I couldn't find it with the detector at the moment so when we go back, I will have another look. Uh, as you can see, there's a couple of other buckles. Um, I do believe them to be World War II parachute buckles. Um, another one, of, I've got two of them, so I've got three now. A few more bullets. Quite a lot of shotgun. But my ultimate favourite is still these coins. Especially that one. That one there. That is my absolute favourite. Looks like someone's standing up on the back. They actually look clearer now than they did before. That's good. <laughs> Very nice. But this one here is definitely my favourite. Very nice. I was hoping to find some more actually. If I can find any more there, I will be happy. I did have a look in the similar sort of area, but unfortunately I couldn't find any. But no, but that really is cool. So, we will go back soon. Um, the nettles are a bit high at the moment though, I'm afraid. So um, we do struggle with detecting some of it. In fact, it's a bit like marching through the Amazon in some parts of it. So um, yeah, when we go back, I'll make another video. Um, and post it back on here and hopefully we'll find a lot more stuff it'd be nice to find some more coins my personal favorite but it'd be nice to find anything really anything world war ii era so catch you later uh, please subscribe if you haven't and um, enjoy the other videos